That's true. <laughs> what do you do with your kids? I family. But what happens if your family's out of town? I have a lot of families. So I have my in laws. Okay. So we'll start with the anatomy of the kidney itself, and then we'll talk about the anatomy then of the nephrons okay. and the, the kind of micro anatomy. So here's our kidney. The outside of the kidney is going to be the renal cortex. And then the inside where the renal pyramids are, this is the renal medulla. So each one of these is the renal pyramid. You can see an example of nephrons up here that are in the uh, um, uh, renal cortex and then how some of the nephron loops then dip into the um, renal medulla. So within the renal medulla, we have these triangle-shaped structures. These are our renal pyramids. So in the renal pyramids, you're also gonna find your collecting ducts that then join up with your papillary ducts. Your papillary ducts are then gonna drain into these minor calyces. So the apex or renal papilla of each of the pyramids were gonna drain into a minor calyce. When a couple minor calyces come together, then they form a big major calyce. Down here is probably the best example of a major calyce. And then the major calyces are going to come together and drain into the renal pelvis, which is kind of the center area of the kidney. And then the renal pelvis drains into the ureter. Okay. This area right here of the kidney, where your renal artery, renal vein, ureter, also some renal nerves, this area right here is called our hilum. So that is the big anatomy of the kidney, oh itself. Oh, and then this is the renal sinus where um, the adipose tissue is. Okay. That's what the yellow is. So now we move on to this model for a second, because I like this model. Um, it shows you kind of like we're looking at um, a renal pyramid here. And so you can see the renal cortex would be here, this would be the renal medulla, and then in the renal, renal medulla would be a renal pyramid. So this is a great model to kind of move from this to this. Okay. So here we have cortical nephrons, so they're mostly in the cortex. So here and here, here's a juxtamedullary nephron that has the long nephron loop into the medulla. Here we see the collecting duct where all the nephrons would drain, and then a bunch of collecting ducts come together to form the papillary duct, then that leaves the at the renal papilla into the minor calyx. So our nephrons then are the functional unit of the kidney. They are made up of two parts. The circle part is the renal corpuscle, and then the tubular part is the renal tubule. Okay. Nephron is separate from the collecting system. So the collecting duct and papillary duct are the collecting system. They're not part of the nephron. The renal corpuscle is made up of the Bowman's capsule, simple squamous epithelial tissue, and then inside is the glomerulus. So blood enters the glomerulus from the afferent, Really? arterial and then exits from the efferent arterial which is broken off. This um, part right here is uh, indicative of the DCT budding back up against the renal corpuscle. Okay. These are the podocytes that are making those filtration slits. So blood enters, it's pushed out, so filtration happens in the glomerulus. This is the capsular space, so the filtrate would be in here, and then this is the beginning of the PCT. Okay. So nephron is made up of two parts renal corpuscle and renal tubule. Renal corpuscle is Bowman's capsule and glomerulus. Renal tubule is made up of, so here's the renal corpuscle. Renal tubule is made up of the PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. Tissue type is simple cuboidal epithelial tissue with microvilli. Then it's made up of three parts, that's part one. Part two is the nephron loop. And it is the thick part is simple cuboidal epithelial tissue, and the thin part is simple squamous epithelial tissue. And then the third part of the renal tubule is in the DCT, distal convoluted tubule, and that's simple cuboidal epithelial tissue without microvilli. And the DCT comes back and butts up against the renal corpuscle and makes the juxtamedullary complex. And this is a great picture of it. So here's the afferent glomerulus. You see the podocytes on top. It's the beginning of the PCT, the efferent leaving. And here's the DCT that comes back, butts up against the renal corpuscle. And right here would be our juxtamedullary.